the Harlem and Brooklyn. She saw action in the Second World War, where she helped to sink the famous German pocket battleship, the Scharnhorst. And she last saw action in the Korean campaign of 1952, where the Belfast was the flagship for the United Nations. These days, she's a floating museum, open to the public seven days a week. You can go and build the Belfast and have a good look around. There's nine things to explore. If you have children under the age of 16, they go on board free of charge. So if you do have a large family, that's the place to take them for a nice cheap house. We have another warship here. This one's called the Brazil. And obviously it's from Brazil. A series of courtesy visit into London for a, a few days. Um, I reckon she'll be here for another three or four days. Uh, we do have about 42 different ships a year that come up into the upper pool of London and go alongside the Belfast. And uh, like I say, she'll be here for another couple of days and heading back out to sea. Over here to your right, we have the large building behind the trees with the clock face in the centre. Now, this is called Water Guard House. It's home to customs and excise. If you bring too much duty free or anything illegal, you'll get taken off you. You'll get 